Let's talk luffs. All right. So I have three versions of the same mix at different levels. The first is at minus 14. The second is at minus 10. And the third is at minus 7. Let me just clear these gain adjustments here for you so you can see clearly that the minus 14 luffs mix is much more dynamic than the minus 7 luffs mix. Okay, now let's just take a listen so we can demonstrate this. You can tell graphically, but let's just listen to. Okay, that got louder each time I went to the next mix. And now let's bring in, uh, let's bring in RX. And I have here the minus seven luffs mix. And I'll show you that it reads as minus seven luffs integrated, which means for the whole mix, and I have my minus 10 lefts mix here. And you can see it's minus 10 integrated, which is how we measure lefts. And we have minus 14.1 close enough for the quietest mix. All right. So what I did was I level matched all these mixes. So at the file level, which is what these adjustments are at. I brought that one, the minus 10 dB one, or the minus 10 lefts down, 4 dB, and then the minus 7 lefts down, 7 dB. And if I switch between them again, you light the dark in every way, every second, every day. I want you. You can hear that they're level matched, and they sound very close to the same level. So what I did was I took my little clipper and I, or my cutting tool, and I, I grabbed sections from the minus 10 lefts and brought it up, and minus 14 lefts, to minus 10, to minus 14, to minus 7, to minus 14. You could tell by the color. I just basically grabbed them from these mixes and dragged them up and made a mix where it switches back and forth between all the different versions. Okay, and let's take a listen to that, and then we shall discuss. So, what did we learn? Well, 
once you level match, there's not an enormous difference between these mixes. There is differences. And those differences would actually become more a little more apparent if you were listening down. For instance, the minus seven luffs. I mean, I hear the distortion anytime. Anytime it switches that, I hear the, the excessive distortion. You know, if I was really going to try and make this mix minus seven luffs, and by the way, this is Crave Amico and the songs Oh So Badly, and I mixed this for them, and I did it on streaming, so if you want to see, see me stream this mix, you can. And I'm, you know, I master mixes right in my mix session, and the original mix was at minus 10. And so I, I brought the limiter down for minus 14 and, and I and I goosed it up for minus seven. Uh, if I was really trying to go for a minus seven left mix for whatever reason on this, then I would probably have to take some low end off so I didn't have get quite so much distortion. I did experiment with a clipper on it. I don't have transients that are sticking out that much. It really didn't buy me anything. I'd probably have to 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 mess with it a bit to get it so it sounded the way I wanted. Um, I can hear balance differences between them, but they're really, they're kind of minor. But the minus 10 luffs is probably the best representation of, of how I've heard this record. But as you can hear, when we switch between these, the minus 14 and the minus 10 and the minus 7, like... It doesn't change so much where you would go, oh my God, the minus seven so much better. In fact, this experiment reveals that the minus seven doesn't actually sound nearly as good as the minus 10 or the minus 14 because of that excess of distortion. I don't mind distortion. I like distortion, but that is not distortion that I planned on having on this track. So when that distortion gets added, that's a problem, right? And now I'm doing it on my mix. Imagine you send it to a, a mastering engineer. He can't really adjust your levels. He can adjust your EQ, which on low end will adjust your levels. So, But if you have transients, that's why, if you have excessive transients, that's why a mastering engineer will use a clipper because he wants to knock down your transients a bit so that he can get the whole thing louder. So that the limiter is not reacting so much to the transients. So he's doing a balance move on your mix, basically. So the reason we measure LUFs in, as integrated is, is we want to know what the basically the dynamic range of the entire track is. And, you know, so minus 14 LUFs, we've got a big jump from the in level from the verse to the chorus. Let's just take a listen to that really quick here. Seven. Whoops, apologies. Okay, so there was obviously less dynamic between the verse and the chorus between those. Did it kill it at minus seven? No. It still had a dynamic change. But there has been no value added by making it louder. I don't even know that there's value added. There's definitely not value added going from minus 14 to minus 10. The value in the loudness really is in, in how it represents itself in noisy environments or when you're listening at low, low volume. So if you're in the office and they have music in the background in the corner playing off a Bluetooth speaker, the louder mix is going to translate better because it's louder. <laughs> it's denser. So, but does it really make the mix better? No. So do you really want to make it so that people can really, uh, you know, enjoy your mix at, 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 at at minimal volume. I mean, that's up to you. So 
Anyway, I wanted to do this experiment. I wanted you all to hear this. Let me know what you think. Uh, comments, anything. Uh, but I think it's pretty clear that you're not gaining all that much with loudness. Okay. So when the streaming site takes your minus seven luffs mix and brings it down seven dB, my friends, it's a minus 14 luffs mix. Okay. Except now you don't have the dynamic range to go with it. All right. But this idea that, oh, when you make it louder, it's denser and it'll sound better and and then when we do it and we switch back and forth between them and we're like, well, wait a second, you can barely even, you know, I, if I wasn't really paying attention, I wouldn't necessarily notice those switches. Right? Let me know what you think.